y'all. I know it looks different. I know. Just hear me out. I'm hauling ass to the ladies. It's shark week. I kind of feel like shit a little bit. Feel like shit a little bit. I'm filming on my Sony. It's literally on a gorilla pod wrapped around my ring light, like legit hanging off of my ring light. Also, sorry if I look at the viewfinder and like pull a Tana Mojo the whole video because you guys know I'm not used to having that. But this is what you get, guys. This is your favorites right here. This is this is as good as it gets because I feel like shit a little bit. So let's get into the favorites. So um, I have a lot of hair products that I'm gonna talk about because as you guys know, um, I know Jesse Smiles always says, I hate it when people say, as you guys know, because what if you're new and what if you don't know? But if you're new, you need to catch up. So as you guys know, um, I'm slowly transitioning into going blonde with my hair. Uh, not fully blonde, just like an ombre, not ombre, uh, what's it called, balayage. I'm going to do like a dark root balayage with like blonder ends, and I'm slowly transitioning into that. However, I did have layers and layers and years and years of black, and then layers and layers and years and years of red, and then more layers and layers and years and years of black in my hair because my hair grows so slow. All that red and all that black, this fucking hair though, this hair is driving me nuts. All that red and all that black are still in there, so it's gonna take a lot of times for me to lift to blonde. The stage right now is it's pulling through that red, so I have a lot of red tones in my hair. So I was on the gram and I saw uh, the Taylor. I know I talk about her all the time, but um, I feel like every other video I'm like mentioning something that she said and totally fucking ripping it off. But I saw the Taylor um, mention this stuff in, it was either like her Instagram or on a video or something like that. So I went on their Instagram and checked them out. And the company is Celeb Luxury. And they have this line called Viral and it is a color wash line. So basically if you have any type of pre-lightening in your hair, this is going to like the color, whatever color you get, they have a whole range of colors and they have a whole range of toners. I haven't tried, or like toning shampoos, I guess. I haven't tried their toning shampoos yet, but I figured the toning shampoo wasn't gonna work because I use a really good toning shampoo, which is the Joyco, um, like in the purple bottle, which is a really, really, really good toning shampoo, but I still had some of that like red, brassy, um, color in my hair that had pulled through and I saw that she's kind of doing the same thing I am because she had black hair too so she's like transitioning up to one second my dog knocked my cord out anyways so sorry stubby keeps like laying down I'm sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder stubby keeps like laying down and like as he's laying down he's like and just lets his body go and lays on top of my extension cord for my lights and pulls it out anyways as i was saying um what was i saying i don't really remember any oh yeah she's going uh taylor's going from a black to a blonde too and she's like slowly transitioning don't you dare pull that out he's laying in the exact same fucking spot um, she's transitioning from black to blonde too, and she's had like a little bit of trouble along the way, and her hair is basically the same as mine, like it was pulling very brassy because when you bleach hair or lift hair, it has to go through basically like every color of the rainbow, especially when you're black, um, to get to that blonde point. So she kind of had the same problem, and I saw her use the lavender viral color wash in her hair, and it turned like some of the pieces of her hair that were actually like lighter, it turned them like a lavendery silver color, and it really toned her hair really well. So, long story not so short, that's why I went out and got this, and oh my god, I love it. I know you guys can't tell today because I'm rocking fun bum, but you'll see like in future videos. This is so good. You guys have to go on Instagram. I'll leave their Instagram below if I can remember. If I don't, tell me in the comments and I will like give it to you in the comments. But you guys have to go on her or on their Instagram and look at their before and afters. This shit is crazy. So my friend, and you can only get this at um, professional shops like Cosmoprof and stuff like that. I do think Taylor got it on uh, Amazon so you can get it on Amazon. I got mine at Cosmoprof because I had one of my friends who's licensed take me to Cosmoprof. So we were at Cosmoprof and I was talking, like telling my friend Josie about it. And I was like, oh my God, you should do it on your hair because she kind of has the same as mine where she's got a dark root to a blonde balayage, but her hair is like so much lighter than mine. And she got the red one. And then I gave her some of this to like cool the red one down. She was too scared to buy the pink one. She didn't want it to be like pink, pink. 
um, and it took to her hair so fucking well. And it doesn't stain your hands. It is like miracle fucking magic in a bottle. It's insane. And then if you don't like the color or it's like a temporary thing, it's a color wash. So basically all it is is pigment and shampoo. It's not hair dye. So the pigment like absorbs into the lifted pieces of your hair and then it stays there until it washes out. Like it'll wash out in like four or five washes, which is awesome. Um, and it washes completely out. If you want it to wash out sooner, you can use like a um, clarifying shampoo and that'll take it all out. It's just a really good product. And not only is it like super dope because it changes the color of your hair and you could literally, like if you have blonde balayage or blonde ombre or even just fucking blonde hair, you could like be any color of the rainbow you want to and then just go back to your blonde. Not only is it dope because of that, but it doesn't stain your hands, so that too but it's such a good shampoo. Like it literally makes your hair so soft. So when I shampoo my hair, I cannot like run my fingers through my hair. Like, you know, I foam it up at the scalp and then I try to like disperse it through my ends and I can't run my fingers through my hair because my hair is so fine. It gets really ratty when it shampoos. I can run my fingers through my hair with this. It makes your hair so soft. So in conjunction with this, I, I went a little crazy when we went to Cosmoprof. I spent like 150 fucking dollars. I showed you guys on Snapchat what I got. I got this and then I also got the silver one just in case this one didn't work. This is toning my hair so well to BT Dubs. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it fucking is. It's amazing. My hair is like so ashy now. It does look a little bit darker, um, but I don't mind because it's not that red. I don't want red in my hair, which, you know, is hardly, I'm hardly able to help that or my hairstylist can't really help that because she doesn't want to like burn my hair off but um I got this viral extreme smooth styler leave-in conditioner too an anti-tangler this stuff makes your hair so fucking soft oh my god like this whole line I'm about to go buy more because it is amazing I will shut the fuck up about it now and continue on because I got a lot of stuff and I need to shut up okay next up for hair products is Olaplex number three um my friend used Olaplex uh, when she bleached my hair. She kind of had to because um, my hair just damages really fucking easy because it's super fragile and fine from dyeing it since I was like, Jesus, 10 years old or something crazy like that. Um, but this is amazing. It will seriously completely transform your hair. Um, if you want to get this, I would definitely suggest getting it. Uh, from a salon or going to a salon and having um, the treatment because it's really expensive on Amazon and you can get it at Cosmoprof way cheaper. So if you have a license um, or like you have a friend who has a license, I would definitely suggest. Look what I can do now. Boom shaka laka. Couldn't do that before. This is what it looks like. Olaplex number three. That's what's up. Okay. That is it for hair products. Moving right along onto the good stuff. First things first, um, one of my very, very, very favorites of the month, which BT Dubs, I've only used this. I've only been using this for like a week. Um, but you guys know that, I <laughs> say so you guys know again, and I'm like, I just keep hearing Jesse's voice run through my head when I say that. Anyways, um, I never do favorites of shit that I've like just bought in and haven't actually physically tested out and have been wearing for the entire month. So those of you that have seen that I just got this like last week, I figured it'd be okay to include because it's shampoo. I mean, you know, the first time you use it, whether you're going to like it or not, you know what I mean? So that's why in the Olaplex I have been using for, you know, forever and ever. Okay, moving on. I just want to throw that in there as a disclaimer because I know people get crazy. Anyways... My next favorite, oh, my Snap Clan knows what's up with this. These are basically my fake ass glasses. So I actually, oddly enough, I have a prescription um, for glasses and when I was younger I lost them. So like some years ago I used to work in a nursing home and I had put my glasses down on the sink to give somebody a shower and somebody stole my fucking glasses. Who steals glasses? I don't know, but the bitch did. Uh, so ever since then, and I'm nearsighted, so like it makes me feel like I'm like doing this when I actually do have them on like the whole time because I'm not used to them. Um, and I can't do contacts because I have really bad astigmatism, so the doctor's like, contacts are going to fuck with you because you have astigmatism, whatever. Um, so I wear these because like when I don't feel like wearing makeup or when I don't want to put a lot on my eyes or when I'm going to the gym, I don't know why, but I feel more confident in them. I know I look good in glasses. I know that you don't have to tell me I already know so that is what I'm just kidding that's why I like wearing them though because 
um, they just kind of, I don't know, they just make me feel, it's like a security blanket, like a security blanket for my face. I, it doesn't matter if I have foundation on, whatever, I just feel so much better wearing these when I don't have foundation because I feel like it distracts from like my acne spots and stuff. Um, if you guys don't know, there I'll say that. If you guys don't know, I have acne, obvi. Uh, and I don't like to go out without foundation. I don't give a fuck if I'm just going to the store or even the gym. Yes, I wear foundation to the gym. Um, not if it's in the morning though. Usually that's just like in the daytime. I'll throw a BB cream on or something just because I don't feel comfortable with my acne spots all up in the world. You know what I mean? So these make me feel a little bit better and I love the way that they look. I think I might just go ahead and get my prescription um, because of them. So there's that moving right along. Okay, so next up on the list, surprisingly enough, is the mascara that I totally talk shit about <laughs> uh, from my BoxyCharm last month, and it is the Ampla Mascara Amplifying Mascara Serum. Uh, if you guys watched my BoxyCharm video last month, dogs are scratching. Please don't. Please don't. I have my mom's dog too. We're like dog sitting her, so now I have three fucking dogs up here to like fuck with my life. Anyways, um, the Ampla Mascara, if you guys remember from my BoxyCharm last month, I said it was just like okay and I wasn't really digging it um, because it's like a two-step system. So this is the mascara and then the fiber is kind of like the unique stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then you put this on top, gives you long lashes, lashes, whatevs. I didn't really like it for my top lashes, but literally been wearing it since I got it for my bottom lashes. It is the only Mascara. I know I've told you guys that the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash was the only mascara that didn't transfer on me, and it was until it got like 150 degrees out. And then my MAC started transferring too because, I mean, it was just inevitable. I don't like setting my under eyes because I have fine lines under there. And um, even though it didn't do it at first, by the end of the day, after like four or five hours of wear, the MAC did start to transfer. This one does not. I don't know why but I love it and it's like not all over my bottom lashes and it is amazing and yeah, that's what's up. So um, I think you can find this like on the BoxyCharm website if you're interested in it for your bottom lashes. This seriously is like bomb. I, I just can't believe it doesn't transfer. It's amazing. Okay, next up. So the next thing I have is something that I've been raving and raving and raving about on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you can go out and do that if you want to because I do things like that, things and stuff. I'm a very frequent snapper. So if you do like to chat up the snap, then go on and follow me right here. Uh, anyways, I have been raving about these on Snapchat because they are glorious. I can't believe nobody else is talking about these right now because they are amazing. They're probably not because they're all young and like baby skinned and like highlighter looks fucking amazing on them no matter if it's shit highlighter or if it's like a hundred dollar highlighter. If you have smooth amazing baby skin then it's gonna look amazing on you. But if you are in the me crowd, if you are with me, if you are on the same level as me and you have a little bit of texture and pores and lines and nooks and crannies on your skin, these are amazing. I will say they do look better. Let me tell you what they are. Um, they're the Laura Geller Easy Illuminating Sticks. I like them so much I bought all three. I never fucking do that ever, ever in my life, ever. I bought all three. So these, I will say from the rip that they are... Um, better to be used like on more natural makeup days because the highlight is like a more natural highlight. They are like little balmy sticks. So if you guys saw like the little, I'm, I can swatch them, but you're not going to see the swatches because it's like, oh, I guess you can uh, kind of see that a little bit. This one's Gilded Honey BT Dubs, which by the way, I cannot wear Gilded Honey powder, the Laura Geller highlighter, but I can wear this one. Um, so, uh, these leave the most gorgeous like natural editorial like I'm in vogue just gloss on your skin they're freaking amazing they do leave your skin like a little bit tacky but because of that they make amazing bases for highlighters and it's almost as if this is what I do basically so I put it on my two fingers and then I'll just tap it I mean look look you guys <laughs> they're so pretty and it's almost like any type of texture or pore or line or wrinkle that you have it just like fills that in and turns it into the most amazing base for um 
powdered highlight of life what this is so basically what I do is I'll you know do all my makeup and put my powdered highlighter on and then I'll kind of tap this on top and then I'll go in with powder highlighter again sometimes I will just tap this on and then go and then it does seem to kind of fade off a little bit not fade off like in pigmentation but like fade off in tackiness a little bit throughout the day so I you guys they're so good they really really are like I love them I have ballerina gilded honey and ethereal so this one right here is ballerina I will say though I can't put it on my nose because I feel like it does take the foundation off my nose my nose doesn't hold foundation very well I don't know why but um so I don't like stick it on my nose and it the thing that I like most about these is that they most powder highlighters dry down to a powder finish so like the um jouet cream highlighters or like the pure cream highlighters or even the color pop cream highlighters they go on as a cream but they dry as a powder and because of that they really accentuate fine lines and they really accentuate texture these do not do that i'm telling you guys it's like they fill in any lines or anything that you have they're just gorgeous i love them i have the colors i'll swatch them and try and see if you guys can like maybe see them but i'm on aperture priority rather than manual um priority exposure on my camera so i don't know if it's going to blow it out once i get my hand really close but we shall see we shall see so these let me see you guys aren't going to be able to see these because they're like glossy hold on so these are the colors right here not that you can even fucking see that but you can see how glossy they are oh you can kind of see it from the side so there's gilded honey ballerina and ethereal um, the only one that is not in her permanent line, meaning that she doesn't have the powder, um, like, subsidiary to, I guess, is Ethereal. And Ethereal is basically like a pink. It looks pink, um, but it goes on your skin very lightly, and it has, like, a very white gold reflect. So I, if you were super pale pasty pirate like Mama here, I would definitely suggest this one. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably fucking not. But it just has this like really pretty like fair pink sheen or fair pink undertone with a really pretty gold sheen. It's so pretty. Being as fair as I am, I can wear all three, which is insane. Because like I said, I can't even wear Gilded Honey powder or Ballerina powder because they're extremely too dark. But as you can see, I have Ballerina on and it's not too dark at all. So there's that. So next up, I have the NYX Dewy Finish Vinny Boilette. I don't, I don't know. Uh, NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I really, really have grown to love this. And the reason why is because when I sprayed this on, it gives me a very natural, dewy kind of glow to my skin, but it does not make me oily. So MAC Fix Plus, um, I have a DIY for like a MAC Fix Plus that I will put down there if you guys want to see that. Anything like that, they do have oils in them. They're very oil-based. They have glycerin and oil. Um, as I've told you guys before, I really, really like the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, but this gives me more of hydration than like a dewy look. Um, so I like this one before because it would give me that hydration um, not like a glow, but just hydration without like making me greasy. This makes me greasy AF. Everything makes me greasy AF. That's like on the dewy side spray spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Except for this. So I can spray this on and look dewy, but I don't look greasy when I'm oily throughout the day. You know what I mean? And I'm assuming it's probably because it has alcohol in it. Any type of setting spray, if you are not aware, does have alcohol in it. That's what sticks the makeup to your face. So basically what I do is I'll spray this. I'm not crazy about the sprayer though. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's hope we didn't spray my fucking lens. Um, the sprayer drenches you a little. Let's just say that. Yeah, you get a little drenched from the sprayer, but it just gives my skin like this really pretty natural glow without making me greasy. As I said, most dewy sprays, I just sprayed that shit all over my stuff, all over my stuff on my phone. That was amazing. Good job. Good job there, Nikki. Way to go. Um, it just leaves your skin really pretty and supple looking and dewy, real dewy like without making you a grease ball. So I definitely dig that. Next up. The next thing I have is very controversial right now because you either love the fuck out of it or you hate it and returned it already. And that is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. 
you guys, I really like this. I do. And I have a video coming up. So um, I told you guys on Snapchat that I was doing a review of this when I was filming last week. And I was. Um, and I have a video coming up on it. I may have to refilm that because I did forget to include a certain method of application uh, in order to make it look good. I am not going to lie. It's a foundation that you have to work at to make it look good. But once you learn how to apply it and once you learn what products to use it with, which I explained in that video, it lasts forever. Yes, it does make me greasy because I know a lot of you guys, when I did the haul for this or the haul tutorial, one of the two, um, a lot of you guys said, oh my God, that makes me greasy AF. It was making me super, super greasy at first too, but that's because I was using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter with it, which... I'm an asshole because obviously, I mean, that's like a hydrating primer and can't use a hydrating primer with a fucking um, oily skin. So, especially on a foundation that like could possibly make you oily, but I think that the reason why so many people do not like this is because they're not aware of the application of it because there is a learning curve to this and there is a certain way that it's supposed to be applied and there is a certain method of application that was intended when creating this. So if you guys want to see that video, like I said, I might just throw up the one that I already have, but I might refilm it. I may just throw it up and put like a little annotation saying the other application method, um, but I feel like I should refilm it. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below what you think, but I really like it. If you guys want to see that video, definitely let me know because I know some of you guys have already returned it and it may not have worked for your skin, but I feel like I have some tips for um, basically what it is, is you got to kind of work at it. And if you're not somebody that's willing to work to make it look good, you're probably just fuck it. Don't buy it then. You know what I mean? But if you want to work at it to make it look good, it looks fucking amazing. Um, it lasts forever and ever and ever. It just looks so good on your skin for the longest time. So just let me know. Let me know in the comments. Okay. I think the last thing that I have, right? Yes, it better fucking be because this video is long enough as is, is this. The Smashbox 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. I told you guys on Snapchat and on video, I am going to be doing a concealer smackdown. I have a lot of concealers, you guys, so I'm slowly going through. I know um, like months and months ago I said, oh my god, I'm gonna buy all these liquid lipsticks and do like kind of like the same thing with the liquid lipsticks and I never did it and that's because I fucking hate liquid lipsticks. I've just come to the realization that they're just not for me. I like them for pictures and things like that, but to wear it throughout the day, fuck you liquid lipstick. Can we please let that trend die? Please. And get back to gloss because I mean let's be real, gloss looks good. Unless you have like three syringes of fucking whatever it is, Restylane or Juvederm or whatever in your lips, liquid lipsticks look like shit, okay? I'm just throwing it out there. Rant done. Anyways, uh, Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. I don't really know that it's waterproof, but I will say, you guys know my why, my why, my eyes water all the time, and they usually primarily water because when I have to be to work like really early, like seven or eight o'clock in the morning, I wake up, I slam back some coffee and then I come up here and start fucking with my eyes. Nobody's eyes want to be fucked with at six o'clock in the morning. So, so sorry. So apparently this camera overheats. So I had to go downstairs and stick it in the freezer for a couple of minutes and then bring it back up and now I can't get it on the fucking ring lights the way that I had it. So if it looks different, that's why. As I was saying, what was I saying? Oh yes, nobody's eyes want to be fucked with at six o'clock in the morning. So it's like the earlier I fuck with my eyes, the more they water all day. But this stays on so well through them watering. Usually I have like a little patch, like a little bald patch on my eye. I wish these dogs would like really just not. Can you tell I'm menstrual? Um, so normally, like uh, like I said, I have like a little patch, like a little bald spot on my eyes. My eyes water all day, but this does not do that. So maybe it is waterproof. I don't know. But of all the concealers, like I told you guys, I've been trying out all these concealers. Of all of them, this is the one that I have been reaching on on or reaching for on a daily basis. The only thing I don't like is that it is not light enough to highlight. So I have to mix a little bit of my Kat Von D. Um, L1 neutral with it uh, because it's just not light enough to like highlight under my eyes so basically what I'll do is just tap the L1 like here and here just two little dots here and here here and here 
and then I'll put the Smashbox like in this area and then in the center of my face. I think that this is slowly becoming my favorite of all of them, even the Bye Bye Under Eye. I love this so much. So even though it is my favorite, I will tell you guys, I do not have dark circles. So as far as dark circle cover, 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 as far as dark circle coverage goes, um, this I cannot attest to. And, and as far as it goes for like the concealer smackdown too, which I'll mention that there, like I'm not going to be able to attest to the concealers as far as coverage goes. I mean, I can tell coverage in the way of like if it's covering pimples or, you know, I do have like a little bit of discoloration like in the corners, inner and outer corners of my eyes as far as like redness and stuff, but dark circles, I can't attest to that. But I would say it's probably about a medium coverage at best. Um, the formula is super creamy, super blendable. It doesn't crease on me and I don't really set my under eyes. So for something to not crease when I don't even set it is like amazing. This is the one that I reach for every day. Yesterday, I totally felt like shit. I was going to record this yesterday, started putting my makeup on and I didn't like it. Um, I, what did I use? Oh, the Becca. I was like, let me try this one out again. Cause I don't really care for this one, BT dubs. So I did kind of the same thing. Cause this doesn't, this isn't nearly dark enough as it should, or light enough as it should be, uh, for being porcelain under fair, just saying Becca, maybe you need to extend the color range. Just saying, just throwing that out there anyways. Um, so I did the same thing with these two and I hated it so much that I had to go wash my face off. That's how bad it looked. This one is just the one that like I keep reaching for over and over and over. I really like the longevity of it and I really like the way it looks under my under eyes. So there's that. Look what I can do, Smashbox. Go ahead and, oh, look at that, this right here. Ooh. I'm a real guru now, let me put my hand up. I'm a real guru now. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, so I think that's it for my favorites. Let me know what you guys have been favoriting for the month of August. I can't fucking believe it's September already. I promise the next video will be like legit set up. My background won't look like a fucking garbage dump. My room is like a mess right now. My drawer fell out of my um, Alex drawers the other day and I still have yet to put that motherfucker back in because I have not been feeling good all damn week. Again, thank you ovaries. So that is it. That's what's up. That is the end of my favorites, I guess. So let me know what you guys have been favoriting again, because as y'all know, I like to buy all of the things. What were some of your favorites from the month? What did you fucking hate? Oh, by the way, this is really good too. I got, you guys know, or if you don't know, I usually use, oops, I usually use the Tarte um, eyelash curler. I bought the Shiseido one from work from Ulta. It's so good. It like fits right into my eyes. I love it. It's amazing. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Let me know your favorites and leave me comments and stuff. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on all my social media right here and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.